Hey guys, so here is our The Trickster God event featuring Loki, of course, who certainly is tricky, tricky, tricky out there in the battlefield. This, of course, is uh, Loki coming in after the Thor Norse God last God's Awaken event that we have, this one being an all-infiltrator event. Now, with this, we're going to get 1.3 boost from 4-star infiltrators and a 1.1 boost from 3-star infiltrators, but you will not be getting a boost from Thor, as many originally thought. Pretty traditional soul event. Of course, you've got the top prize being Loki here at 18,000 souls. We do see the uh, tankards return as the relics and, uh, of course, using those chosen infiltrators in order to work your way up the milestone reward system. Uh, again, it's an alliance uh, event as far as the rewards go. It's not going to be individual this time, so you're competing as a team. Uh, you've got just over four days in order to get this one done, and uh, as standard, we'll see various different milestones along the way. Yet again, the final prize being Loki himself. So let's start taking a look at some of these rewards. Uh, we've got six different tiers set up, which work our way through in a pretty traditional fashion with just a few minor changes. Uh, we see the bonus token here come in early on in the event rather than a storm token or a relic pull token uh, for the boost. Uh, we are down to only just three of those tokens, but we do have the one bonus token here. Uh, with it, when we're also looking at portal stones, you can see the 50 portal stones and 100 gems come up in this purple tier, uh, which does cap out at 500, giving you a two-star Herrick. Now, one thing to also note is that these titans that you see in here, just like during the Thor event, are pre-leveled. So your two stars are coming in at level 15, while your three stars are coming in at level 10. So we also see the return of 100 portal stones there at the start of the uh, blue tier. Uh, the Song of Storms makes a return, and we get a to 250 gems here uh, in the blue tier as well again which eventually maxes out at 1750 souls uh, it continues with the dragon helm and a two-star nestus once again keeping in mind that nestus there is going to be a level 15 so definitely some excellent fusion food for the upcoming fusion event we know that is happening right after this event uh, in order to put into loki if you don't already have them, for possibly a Pantheon collection. At 2,000 souls in the bronze category, we get another storm token. Again, in total, we have three storm tokens available within this event. We then move on in the bronze category into three-star rewards, which include uh, pretty standard rewards until we get to the 3,000 soul mark, which is your Boots of Deceit. Now, again, please keep in mind, these Boots of Deceits work well for boosting the... Um, Titan as a first skill, but then we also see lots of militia skills coming in for the boosts as the devs said that they want to help kind of create more reasons to use militia on the battlefield. At 3,500 souls, starting out the silver category, you get three-star Infiltrator Cormac. Uh, he will be available at level 10 immediately when you get him. And we have the third and final storm token coming in at 4,000 souls. We continue with uh, some of the other new relics. This includes the three-star uh, Belt of Deceit and the three-star Braces of Deceit available at 4,500 and 5,000 souls. And then we have three-star Noctis at 5,500 souls. This is going to be, yet again, a level 10 infiltrator you get right off the get-go. So uh, these pre-level Titans are pretty nice, I think, overall. Uh, moving into the gold category, we do see the continuation of uh, gems, this time giving us 1,500. Uh, we have the Cape of Deceit three-star, and then we have our first four-star Deceit relic at 8,000 souls. This is the Boots of Deceit. So each one of the three stars we get, we also get a four-star version of. Uh, 9,000 souls, we do have an epic token available. It is the only epic token within this reward milestone system. Uh, and then we'll just kind of continue right back into our four-star relics. Uh, again, we're looking at uh, Belt of Deceit. Then we go into the Brace of Deceit and the Cape of Deceit with our final stack of gems at 2,000 right there at the 12,000 soul mark. Now, uh, in total, again, you've gotten one bonus token, three standard um, your storm tokens for your relic pools. You've got one epic token, 150 portal stones, and, uh, and then of course we've got a series of gems which all kind of lead to the grand total here. Now, a few other things we've got to look at is just the Relic Breakdown uh, as we kind of get into what is the overall value. Uh, the last thing I'll point out here for just a moment is that Loki, again, is going to be your final milestone at 18,000 souls, but do keep in mind that is only coming in at just level one. He is not going to be pre-leveled. Now, back to your grand totals, we also have a total of 4,450 gems available in this event. 
uh, and looking at two level two, uh, two two star relics, we've got six three star relics, four of those being brand new, and four four star relics, all of those being brand new. For the Titans uh, in the milestone rewards, we did have two two stars, two three stars, all pre leveled, and one four star being Loki, but you have the opportunity to earn more Titans through, of course, your alliance ranking. Your top one through five do get Loki, most of them at pre leveled, except ranks four and five will only get a level one. Now, this, of course, is a little bit of a lower level for this Loki, but we also see that we're getting pre-leveled food for him basically immediately. When you go into ranks 6 through 50, you're going to see Ishkar available, um, the Unek infiltrator there. Uh, 6 through 10 get a level 5, and 11 through 50 get a level 1. I think one of the most sought-after rewards in this system here is going to be the Orb of Duality, which makes another return. It was also there for the Thor event. That is going to be ranks 51 through 100, and many people missed out after going through a shaving series to try and get there. And we have another epic token available all the way down to 250 between 101 and 250. Below there, we've got a pretty standard lineup of gems, 3,500 gems all the way down to rank 500, uh, 2,000 gems rank all the way down to 750, and then down to 1,000, you'll get 1,500 gems. If you fall anywhere between 1,000 and 1 and 2,000, then you'll get 750 gems. So, you know, it's uh, definitely pretty traditional as we look at the gems. Uh, as of course, as we continue throughout here, uh, gems are pretty standard breakdown. I, I haven't myself really ever noticed a shift. Not saying there isn't one, but when we wrap up the event, they give you rewards as long as you're anywhere above 10,000 in rank of the alliances, and that wraps up with 250 gems and pretty easy to be at least in that as long as you're active or on an active team. Uh, now, again, just kind of giving you a rundown of overall what this event is worth. Let's just look at the total value and the number. With all things accounted for, you're looking at a grand value of 50,350 gems for all the rewards you get. Now, again, I'd love to hear everything that you guys have to say about DOT, the game, this event, and of course, just in general chat as well. You can feel free to hit me up on any one of the social channels, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, Line, Band, and Twitch, uh, using the same name as well. And you can also find me on Patreon now, where I'm offering Gaming Yeager swag available to anyone who subscribes, as well as early released to content and stuff out there that is the newest of the new ones uh being the patreon so check me out but again i'm gaming jaeger and i'm signing out